In this section, we will try to understand what is BW4 HANA cockpit and what are the features which are available with this cockpit and why we should use it and how SAP is moving a lot of new features or existing features to BW4 cockpit. So to go to BW4 cockpit, you have to put T code BW4 web. You can click on this and it will open in a browser. So as you can see, it is opening here and I can continue and normally it asks for login, but I'm already logged in. So it is just showing me the tiles. One more option is to open it from Eclipse or HANA Studio. So you can open any object and then you can click here, open BW4 cockpit. And you can select the system and it will ask for the browser and you can select, for example, Chrome. But I have already logged into IE, so let's go there. So this is the interface you get for BW4 cockpit. So here you see a lot of tiles, this standard Fury interface where you can add or remove tiles as per your need. But the idea is to give you bird's eye view of the system and there are a lot of options which are available here. So you can perform many tasks from BW4 cockpit. So as you can see, we have these sections as well between these tiles. So monitoring, I can click on monitoring and it will jump to that or data management or data display maintenance, data protection, privacy. It is just scrolling through. So basically we see a lot of options here and you can add or remove these tiles as per your need. For example, I can go here and say app finder. For example, under configuration, I want to maintain RS admin maintenance. I can click here and select my group where I want to add it. So I can maintain it under let's say monitoring and close it. I can maintain it under multiple sections as well. So this is very custom. You can do as you wish. And now this is added to monitoring. Let's go to home screen. So you can see the maintenance style has been added here. So this is very random. People can add, add tiles which doesn't belong to a particular section. So you can also add anything as you want. So here we have procession editor, for example, let's go in here. So you see a lot of process chains which are available. What is their status, whether they are scheduled or not, when it was last changed, what is the info area this is under and you can click and go inside this. And you can see it here. So this is the process chain. I can zoom in, zoom out. So this is new interface of process chain RSPC T code, which we used to use. We still have RSPC, but now this is the new way you can create your process chain and manage your process chains. We'll see in detail how to create process chain, how to add objects here and create our process chain. For timing, we'll go back. Here you can drag this down and search for whatever keyword you may have. I don't know if any position is there from Z sale or I can just say Z. So we have some Z processions as you can see and those are active. Similarly, we can go to other tiles. Position variant editor if you want to create variant. Analysis authorization editor is also added under modeling actually by someone. So this security team can use it. Under monitoring, you also have position dashboard. So you can click here. Normally it gives you bird's eye view of all the things which are happening with your system. I'm not sure in this training system how much data will get, but let's see. So you have some data here. You can see how many are successful, how many have irregular execution, those kind of status are present and you can see average runtime of some of the process chains, longest running and last 30 days failed process chains, average runtime degradation, a lot of options are available and obviously you can filter on your particular process chain and see the data related to that. So this is very nice visualization of your system's health as far as process chain goes. 
and you can also view latest status of these process chains this is similar to what we saw but it has more data now here and it also shows if particular process chains have irregular executions whether it is scheduled or not you don't get so many options in our earlier BW versions so this is nice change and obviously you can go inside and see the process chain and we have a lot of other process chain related options as well we have remodeling request as well if there is any remodeling request pending you can see it here you have data volume stat here let's see what it is so you get basically how much data is used in the system and there are trends as well as pie charts as you can see this is the memory bw for hana is holding and this is the memory sap hana is holding you can go inside this click on this and here you can see it in table format just drill down further click single click on this and see drill down and you can see info area wise data for example there is nothing so let me see under object type let me see under data category so I have some bifurcation here let's drill down further if I have table type we don't have let's see component wise I think we have the data for that so component wise also you can see how much data is stored by BI content and other contents available here so this is a good way of checking your memory bifurcation and it is again asking for password and login here you also have data store object manage request so let's click on this basically it will show you all the requests which are under process or successful for your DSOs ADSOs so here you can see total complete view of how your requests are performing if it is a live system if you are working in production this could be very handy where you can directly jump onto error DTPs and fix them directly so this view was not available earlier this very nice view I would say for support team where they can directly monitor how different DTPs are running or how their requests are processing rather than monitoring the procession this is good way and similarly you can check for info object as well so here also you can see what is the status of a particular info object and obviously you can search here I would say just say Z and as so whichever info object has Z so it shows all the info object as you can see there are not many requests here but you get the idea how the support team can use it and you can also see open hub destination manage request so you see all the requests which has been executed successfully or running or failed and you can see all the extra HANA view which are created you can manage the views from here you get a lot of options here database privileges antic privileges general setting and here you have all the views available so a lot of things are available in cockpit and you can manage the data tiering we will see the data tiering in detail all the DSOs available or activated for data tiering I think and here you also can see how much data is in hot tier warm tier and cold tier so as you can see here all the data is in hot tier there is nothing in warm or cold and similarly it shows for everything we don't have cold tier here because it needs a separate license for SAP IQ which is not available in this training system but you get the idea you will get to see all the data how it has been moved in your system if you have cold tier and here we can see partitioning how many partitioning has been done here anyways we will see detail in detail in future sections 
and you can also do info object maintenance from here itself please let's click on this so here you can manage the data as well directly so i can just type something and save button is activated so i can maintain the data directly here so these options are also available and there are some data protection and privacy options available you can check them so these are the various styles which are available and now with sp07 we have more options you can click on home and you can see there are a lot of section which are available and you have a lot of tiles under them you can go here and add the tile as you want as i have shown you i want to show you one thing which is metadata and transport so from here you can also do transport management so i can click here and it will go to my transport organizer so this is sc03 in our old gui this is same you can do all the options here everything is same i can again go back here and i can click on metadata repository so here you see you can activate bi content as well so here the screen is exactly same what we have under bi content so you can click on any of these and select a composite provider for example i click on this and say transfer selection it moves everything here so this exactly same screen what we have under rsa1 for bi content activation so you can have the same features available here for example i can go to administration and i have the exactly same option remodeling process chains let's go to sap gui this is my rsa1 so you can see same options are available here exactly same options so you have everything which is available here in rsa1 you can use them here so you have bi content you have transport connection everything metadata repository so the idea is sap eventually will move everything here sooner or later so you should get used to it right now i won't say it is very smooth but eventually it will improve and you will have very smooth interface here which you can use if you are coming from old background just like me it gets difficult but once you practice once you use the system eventually you will get used to it this is not difficult it's just about moving from old interface to new interface so this option you will only get in sp07 you won't find it in earlier sp patches pw4 hana 2.0 sp07 onwards this is available so there are a lot of options available here and you can explore them lot of new features which are available like monitoring dso request monitoring info object request having the dashboard on process chain these are all new you can only see it in bdl for cockpit so this was a basic overview of how bdl for cockpit works when we start creating our object we will be jumping from our system to bdl for cockpit many a times and then you will get an idea why it is so important and how to use it so this was all about bdl for cockpit we'll go further in next section thank you